Okay, in order to show these new options, uh, I can do it two ways, through the Transform Elements tool or through the Transform by Point Pairs. I'm just going to use the Transform by Point Pairs. Okay, the first thing to do is let's pick the element that we want to transform. So we'll select this boundary here. And then the next thing we want to do is select the point pairs themselves. So we'll just select this one here, then this one and then the third and the fourth ones at well. Okay, and we'll go ahead and set these to include. And then here we'll drop down. Now here you can see all the new transform uh, methodologies. Uh, we supported least squares in the past, but now you've got a fiend, helmet, conformal, projective, and rigid. So I'm gonna go ahead and use rigid uh, for this one. So we'll just select our element and you can see it does the transform for me and I'll just go ahead and, and select that and say okay.